Shootopia. Hey everybody, Peter from Shootopia. Today we are going to talk about some Birkenstocks on Tech Tip Tuesday. A couple of great things. It's spring. People love their Birks and all of that goodness is happening. The sun's shining, the snow's gone, and it's back. If you haven't worn them all summer or, or all winter in the house as slippers, it's time to hop back into some Birks. And that's why I wanted to roll through some different things. So we're not going to get too much into the specifics of how Birks are made today, but we are going to talk about fitting and some of the different things that Birkenstock is doing these days with their footwear, because there are some different things that you need to know when you buy Birks if you aren't a perennial Birk buyer. So so the biggest thing with Birkenstocks, I mean, of course they have different styles, but the biggest thing with Birkenstock is they have two different footbeds. If you see this little black footbed, that means it's a narrow fitting footbed. Now on Shootopia.ca, we always call out with all of our Birkenstocks, whether it's narrow or normal, when you go to Shootopia.ca and look at the Birkenstocks. But if you're in store, you'll see the little black footbed, the filled in footbed, that means that it's normal or narrow. If you see an open footbed, more like this one, where it's it's kind of an open shape to it, that means it's a normal footbed. So it's a little bit wider. If you look at them, you can see, you know, just it's a little bit wider at the forefoot. It's a little bit different fit. The arch is alignment a little bit differently as well. So if you're a wider fit, you want the normal footbed. If you're a narrower fit, you want the narrow footbed. Now, typically with Birkenstock these days, we used to be able to order pretty much the same shoe in all narrows and normals. Typically these days, they're most of the narrow footwear is only in women's sizing and most of the normal footwear is only in men's sizing, but there's a few pieces like this one that are normal for women, but Birkenstock corporate has gone to their own sort of layouts of those kind of things. So that's something to keep in mind too. You may not be able to get the actual shoe that you like in a narrow or a normal. It might be a narrow, it might just be a, a narrow or a normal. You might not be able to get a choice of those anymore like we used to have a lot of different choices whether you want narrow or normal so from that perspective it's just we're we're uh, selling what we're basically allowed to sell and what they're offering us but you do need to know that there's some different fits there a couple of other things with Birkenstocks is that um, Birkenstock uppers are not always leather sometimes they're made of what they call burka floor, which is a man-made upper. So this one in particular is a man-made upper. It's our number one selling SKU. It's our number one selling product, but it is a man-made upper. The base itself is still the cork and the latex and a suede uh, uh, footbed, but the upper itself is man-made. Now, some of the um, Birkenstocks do still have leather, like this one's a leather upper. So sometimes we'll even offer the same thing in burka floor and leather and make, you can have the choice. Typically the leathers are 20 to $30 more than the burka floor versions of them, but that's just something you need to know as well. So some are burka floor, some are leather, some are narrow, some are normal. There's a couple of other things too. So when you see the blue footbed, you can see how this is mark, uh, marked blue, and it's usually called out like right in the heel cup. That's a soft footbed. So with the soft footbeds, they will have another layer of, of a foam that's underneath the, the uh, footbed itself, and that's gonna give you a little more cush off the bat. So some people love that structured sort of firm feeling of a Birkenstock when they get their foot in there. Other people find that a little, hard or maybe abrasive. So when you have a soft footbed, you're enjoying some more immediate comfort off the bat. So in this case, this sandal is a narrow fitting, soft footbed, burka floor sandal. So that would be how that one differentiates. The other thing they did was come out with the ones that have green writing. So if you see one that's a, a green writing on your Birkenstock, that means it's vegan and certified vegan. So from that perspective, they don't even have a suede lining on their footbed here, where typically, you know, when people would buy, if, if um, that was a big concern, they would buy the Burka Floor Upper, but they would still have a suede lining. So they, a couple of years ago, they changed over and last year we weren't able to get anything due to the pandemic, but this year we were able to get some of our vegans in again. So if uh, that's an important piece of your puzzle, then we do have some that are vegan this year. So you don't have the suede lining here. You do have the Burka Floor Upper and you can get with Burka floor a lot of times they can have some more fun colors and things like that with the leathers you're sort of stamped down into some plain 
more, let's call them more plain and straightforward colors. Uh, so a lot of the patterns you'll see Burkaflor uppers. And so this one is a vegan narrow Burkaflor. So those are a couple of different things that um, will help you along your Birkenstock pathway, whether you're navigating that on shoetopia.ca or whether you come into the stores and we can help you out here. At least you'll know kind of what you're looking for when you come in. The other thing I just wanted to talk briefly about today was the idea of Cork Renew and the importance of Cork Renew on Tech Tip Tuesday here with Birkenstocks. So all of your Birkenstocks are sealed. You can see the cork is all sealed like that. And if you've had Birkenstocks in the past, you'll notice sometimes that that sort of glossiness as lost its way and has been worn off. Well, we always carry and suggest strongly that you use Cork Renew to reseal those areas because Birkenstocks aren't waterproof. And when water gets into that cork, it can cause some damage into your footbed. And with the Cork Renew, which is $7.99 here at the stores, you're making an investment in taking care of your Birkenstocks. And whether, you know, right now we're in spring, so as you're pulling out your Birkenstocks from last year, you might want to grab, whoops, you might want to grab a bottle of Cork Renew if you don't already have one at home and seal all the family's Birks or seal your Birks or anything else really that's um, cork based. We have Mephistos and we have Viking and a few other uh, sandals that are cork based. It's just really good to get that seal on to them a couple of times a year so that you're making an investment in buying better footwear and you're protecting it by using Cork Renew. So a couple of little tech tips here for Tech Tip Tuesday at Utopia. Wishing you the very best. Make it a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Utopia, quality, comfort, and style.